Okay, we have here a good problem from the UNSW 2020 integration B problem B2. We have the integral from zero to pi over four, natural log one plus 10 X DX. Okay, the thing I notice here, just the fact that we've got like a trig function here, zero for the lower bound. It seems like it could help for us to do a U substitution using King's principle, just adding the bounds together. So what I'm gonna do for this, let's just add pi over four and zero and we get pi over four minus x. Rearranging, we can get x equals pi over 4 minus u, and then dx is minus du. So then we can just go ahead and substitute. So plugging in pi over 4, we get 0 here. Plugging in a 0, pi over 4. Then we're going to have natural log 1 plus tangent, but our x value is going to be pi over 4 minus u. So let's just write that thing in. And then our dx becomes minus du. But then I'll take the minus sign, we can bring that out front and just use it to swap the bounds around. So what we'll do is we'll get this and rewrite it from zero to pi over four. And the thing I need to deal with right now is this poorly written tangent of pi over four minus u. What I wanna do for this is use the angle difference formula for tangent. Okay, we have the formula over here to the right and we'll use this where, we'll use this where our a value is gonna be pi over four and the b value is gonna be u. So let's just see how this looks put it all together. So first up top, we're gonna to have tangent of A, which is gonna be tangent pi over four minus tan of U plus one over one plus tan pi over four times tan over U. Now tan of pi over four is just one. So this one will go away. This one will write in a one. So what we have here is one minus tan U over one plus tan U. So I think what I wanna do is take this one and add it to this. So for one, I can get a common denominator. I can write my one as one plus tan u over one plus tan u, just in order to combine it with this thing where we have one minus tan u over one plus tan u. But when we put these together under the same denominator, the tans are gonna cancel, and this is just gonna give me two over one plus tan u. So then from here, let's just take this and we'll plug it in for this whole input to the natural log. Okay, now from here what we can do is, I can actually use log properties on this, but I think before I do that, I'm actually just gonna do a variable change. Let's change this back to x, because I'm eventually gonna to wanna to add this back to our original integral, so let's just have everything in x. It's a definite integral, so changing the variable is not gonna hurt anybody. So let's make this an x and make this an x. And now we can use our log properties to turn this division into a subtraction. And what I'll do is split this into two integrals actually. So we'll kind of do it all in one step. So for our first one, we're gonna split this natural log well of just natural log of two dx. And then for the second one, the division turns it into a minus sign. So we have the same balance, but this is gonna become this, which is gonna be natural log of one plus tan x. But the good news here with what we came up with here, this is actually just our original integral. So what I'll do is let's just label the original one i because we always call it I, so let's call this one I as well, okay? Now this is just a constant value, so this is just like integrating one. So what's gonna happen is, let's just add this I, because we're subtracting I here, we'll add an I on both sides. So if we add the I here, we can end up writing this as two I, and then I guess to make it clear, I'll just take this natural log of two out front of the integral, and we're just integrating one from zero to pi over four. But of course, integral of one is just gonna give me an x that we have to integrate from pi over four, from zero to pi over four. And so evaluating this at zero is just gonna be zero. So we just need to plug in pi over four. So we're gonna have natural log of two times pi over four. We just need to divide, we have two copies, so let's just divide both sides by two. And so for our final solution, we're gonna have just pi natural log of two over eight. So that's it, UNSW 2020. B2. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.